Hey, what's up guys, Matt here. Today I'll be going through the Gemini Jets September 2019 new releases. Now we're on Gemini Jets' website here. And we're going to head to the new releases section. Apologies uh, for not having a video out. Again, it's just... Uh, don't have time to get to videos um, as much, but... Um, I tried to get around to it. Uh, and yeah. So first up is 1400 scale. We're going to start with the Air France A350 900. FHTYA is the registration number. It's a pretty nice looking model. Next is the Alaskan 737 Max 9. Also looks pretty good. British Airways A319. This is the BEA Retro Livery. Uh, G E U P J. Sorry, I missed the uh, Alaskan. Uh, 737 which was in 913 AK but again back to the British Airways A319 a very good looking aircraft I saw this one in um, London when I was there in fact I've seen all of them all the uh, retro ones um, which I made a video on if you haven't already seen that it'd be um, I'd be grateful if you could watch it and um, just showing off all the different liveries Emirates 777 300ER this is the Blue Expo 2020 livery. Registration is A6 uh, EPK. Then the FedEx MD11 freighter in 625FE. Then we have a FedEx 757-200 freighter in 920FD. That's a pretty cool model, that one. KLM A330-200. PHAOM. Not a bad looking model. Lufthansa A380, DAIMB, of course, in the current livery. Uh, United's new livery, 737 800, N37267, which, um, well, I'm not a fan of the livery. I think ever since, uh, sorry, after they changed from the the tulip, the blue tulip livery, it's gone downhill. So after the Continental merger happened and they took Continental's livery, that's when the liveries were going downhill. So um, yeah, I'm not sort of. They tried to do sort of like a Dreamliner scheme where you got the wavy line, but uh, I'm just I'm not buying it. It's just too. It's it's not United. It really isn't. Anyway, that that is it for one to four hundred scale. Now on to one to two hundred scale. We'll start with the Air France A three fifty nine hundred, like we have with one four hundred. F H T Y A. Not sure about that. Uh, if I'll get that, it's, I'll leave that as a maybe. I'm not, uh, it just seems too plain. A bit boring for me. Uh, Bangkok Air, A T R seventy two. I'm not sure if this is five hundred or six hundred. Uh, registration number is HSPZA. Then we have the British Airways 747400 GBNLY Landor Retro Livery. I believe this one was released earlier in the year. But again, this is to celebrate British Airways. Um, not, I, I'm, it's not their 100th. Uh, I will explain it when I do my review. The next model review, uh, I actually can't tell you. Um, I'll explain it in a upcoming model review about the 100th anniversary, why it's, it is and isn't British Airways 100th anniversary. Uh, some of you may already know what I mean by that. Uh, anyway, GB and LY, same, same aircraft, same registration. This is the flaps down version. Delta Airlines A310-300 in 818PA. A very um, famous uh, combination here with Delta and the A310. Uh, this is probably probably uh, along with Pan Am the most recognizable liveries on the A310. Lufthansa A330-300 DAIKO. It's a pretty good looking model. Now this is Northeast, 717-200, uh, 
sorry, 727100, in 1632. Uh, Northeast, they were around before me, I believe, before I was born. Uh, I didn't actually know they had yellow at all. I did not know that their livery was yellow. Qantas Link, 717200, VHX, uh, NXD. I have this, I don't have it in the new livery, but uh, I do already have one, so I will not be getting another one. And the United 737-800 in 37267, same aircraft. Alright, so, um, decent month, I think, uh, for me, maybe, will be Air France A350, and uh, probably I'll just leave that there, and I'll, I think, I won't get the first release of the Landor, uh, 100th anniversary livery. Um, I'll pro I'll just I'll get this one. I'll get the flaps down like I have with the BOAC 747. And I have the I've already ordered the BEA A319, and I have ordered, also ordered the um, the BA 747 in the Negus livery, which uh, I'm yet to receive two of the uh, the A319 and the Negus livery, and then I've got this on order, and I've already received the BOAC 747, so uh, at least one of them's already here, and the other two I'm still waiting on, but uh, that is going to be it for this um, release, it's a, as I said, it's a decent release, and uh, I'm glad to see uh, some newer models as well. Anyway guys, um, if you enjoyed this, please leave a like, comment, tell me what you think of this release, tell me which models you're going to get, subscribe for more, and share this video as well so other people know about this release and see if they want to get any of these. I think uh, I think there's a good chance um, that some of these models will sell out, and I'm looking particularly at the Landor 747, BEA A319, Air France A350 in 1400, not necessarily 1200 to scale. Um, possibly, possibly the Emirates will sell out again like they normally do, uh, because of the contract they have, uh, they usually sell them quite quickly. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.